Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our September installment of the 1221 series. My name is Emanuele Milizzi, and I'm the music director of the Opera Festival of Chicago and the director of orchestras at the Chicago College of Performing Arts. Tonight, tonight we are renewing a partnership with the Chicago College of Performing Arts, and we're hosting a masterclass by a legend, by a tenor that has been singing in some of the most important and most beautiful stages in the world. Mr. Alan Glassman. Alan is a very close friend of mine and uh, he's been uh, one of the first uh, artists to get interested in our Opera Festival project. And he's been a big supporter, a big friend during this path together, and he's been a great inspiration. I'm so very glad that I accepted to give this masterclass because the Opera Festival Chicago is really interested in uh, giving education, in supporting education in the city of Chicago. And this partnership with Chicago College of Performing Arts is going to be the first step of a long series. We really hope you will enjoy the evening. We are very excited about this. Alan is going to uh, teach this masterclass with three students and alumni of Chicago College of Performing Arts. And he's actually been accompanied by Alyssa Rue, a phenomenal pianist who came out of one of our very own programs, and she's also an alumna of the Chicago College of Performing Arts. So, without any further ado, let me introduce my good friend, a legend, tenor, Alan Glassman. Hello, my name is Alan Glassman, and I uh, hope you're all getting us out there. And I want to thank you all for, for coming online with us today and watching this. We're going to be doing a little master class with three singers. And uh, I want to thank the Chicago Performing Arts at Roosevelt University for letting us collaborate with them doing this. Thank you, uh, Maestro Andrizzi, for putting this all together and so that uh, we can show young singers of today. And uh, I think it's really important. Uh, we, uh, I'm very excited to be collaborating with the Maestro on their first opera. Uh, for uh, Opera Festival Chicago. And I hope you enjoy this today. And, and if you have any questions, please, at the end, please put in questions you'd like to ask. And I guess we'll just get started with our first singer. And I will put my mask on. Thank you. 
get up and sing this art, which is a very difficult art to sing. Uh, he did great. He really did great. Today, I, 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 and Sam and I have talked a lot about this, about Italian dance, about singing Italian eight. Uh, and I talk to this about all my singers. It's not just in Italian. When people are singing in any language, I want them to be in an Italian, an Italian vowel way. So our Italian vowels are a, e, e, o, u. So it's a nice open singing. So, so that we, no, whereas in America we could go a, e, i, o, u. So it is much harder to do that to keep our soft palate up and to make sure that our throats are open. But this is really, really, really good. Start it again for me.
between a phrase like that, what's going to happen is your larynx is going to go bang, like this. You don't want that to happen. Yeah. On that. Let's do it.
silver. Uh, it's such an incredibly beautiful sound. There's a, there's a bunch of vowels that you're close that we're going to hold, and it's going to make it easy for you to breathe. Because what happens is, is that you hold on with your jaw. Okay? okay? Uh, let's start again. Favorite note of this whole line. 
is the path. Because we have to make, I'm, I'm thinking about this note being about this big. My throat inside me. So we have this giant space inside us, okay? So that we can do it. And then we can, then you can do whatever you want with another. Just a little before the bottom.
is not to get too excited. Because it's so easy to get so carried away. And I've done this, I've done this role a number of times. So I always knew. And, it, and the hardest part of the aria is it isn't singing to the third act. So he's already sung two acts. He's already tired. Yeah. So he's got to take it. He's, and it's the opening of the third act. It's the first thing you say. And you have to just always think this. And it's always the end where everybody goes, I'm going to poke up. Sing this as loud as I can. No, we got to do the opposite. It was great. It really was amazing. Uh, let's start it. Do you have, you have enough in you to do it again? No. Okay, <laughs> let's do it. <clears throat> so, so the thing with, with Calvin, and this, is, this has become a typical thing that I've seen. I, I, I've been lucky enough to judge the men auditions over the last 10 years. And the thing that I see most of all that's the problem with these auditions is people over singing. We don't need to over sing. When we over sing, we lose the squeal. We lose the spin in our sound. I know because I sing too, so I know if I push, I'm going to lose that spin. And that is what gets over the orchestra. That's what makes, the, makes us loud. I have never thought of myself being loud, but I've been told that I'm very loud. But my loudness is not from pushing my voice, it's by getting it here and making sure we're always here. And it's actually a small place that we're singing into, not this. We want to think here, into a small place. Okay? So let's, let's start again.
may I say this? I hope you don't mind me saying this, Scott. For an Asian to sing in Italian would be like an American trying to sing in Chinese. Very, very difficult. He has to work so hard, and he works H. I don't know anybody works harder than my friend Tao. He he's, he's a very, very, but it's so difficult. And I've got to tell you, I have heard some of the most gorgeous voices from China. I mean, absolutely gorgeous. And Tao has been kind enough to in, in, introduce me to a number of them. And uh, I mean, I've been blown away. But the language is, it is a problem. But they work at it, and they work really hard, and they do great. They really do. Uh, it really was fantastic. Thank you, Tao. Thank you. Have questions? Thinking of, and I learned this from Alfredo Krauss, great singer. 
of our voices being just one long thread. So yeah, we have there's of course a difference, but we have to make it sound like there is no difference, and then we have it's one sound from the bottom to the top and back again. Mm -hmm. So yes, there is of course there's going to be slight difference, but it is up to us to make that sound so that it's all the same up and down. This is very Italian, also with the vowels going, you know, just going ah. We're not changing the thing. I'm singing the same up and down. So it's it's yeah, but breathing wise, yes, there is a, there is a difference. But I didn't talk about breathing because I have so little time. But a general thing about breathing, uh, we have, and it's not you know, I have so many students say, oh, I'm, where, where do you breathe? I breathe from here. Well, that is just a very small part. We have to breathe. The diaphragm is over here. It's right there. So we got to fill all the way around. And we have to win, and we don't want it to collapse. And that's a very typical thing for a young singer that their, their breath collapses on them. So what we have to envision your voice as you take the foot, you take the breath, and you are extending outwards as we're singing. And you're not pushing, you're extending it. So that you're not, I never run out of breath. I'm always just thinking, boom, extending out, extending out. And this goes, and it's really mostly in the back. I think breathing too, I mean, it's the first sweet thing we do yeah. when we are born. It's the first thing we, and audiences love a breath. But what I find with young singers a lot of times, they're really afraid to take the time to take the breath, to steal the time, to feel the music, and actually put the breath in the music that breath is needed to, and the right type of breath, with the right compression. And, and there are, you know, I, I tell this to my students, they're afraid to take breaths also. Yeah. And I say, you know what? If it works in the sentence, if it works with what you're saying, I call it a dramatic breath. So it take it'll it works so well of, of taking if, as long as you, your phrasing is correct and you're saying the right thing in that sentence, you can take a breath. So I don't mind people say I don't care if a charged person sings a whole aria without a breath. That doesn't mean anything. It means nothing. When I'm in the audience and I hear a singer. Exactly. I'm, I'm, I'm right there. I'm waiting for the next, you know, the you know, I'm waiting for what's going to come after. Yeah, you know, we call that a dramatic breath. Right. I love that. Thank you for joining us for the Opera Festival Chicago's Masterclass with Alan Glassman, live from Gantz Hall at Roosevelt University. My sincere appreciation to Mr. Glassman, as well as accompanist Alyssa Rigo and our student performers, Sam Dubin, Sierra Williams, Tao Tong, and of course, everyone at the Chicago College of Performing Arts. Please tune in for our next installment of our digital series on October 21st for Conversations with Conductors, moderated by Opera Festival Chicago Artistic Director, L.L. Marchment. We have an exciting lineup of fall events scheduled, including a special surprise that will be announced in the coming weeks. So please make sure to sign up for notifications on our website and like us on Facebook. Our digital series is made possible thanks to financial contributions. And I invite you to join us in supporting live Italian opera by making a donation in any amount through our website, operafestivalchicago.com. On behalf of the entire festival family, thanks again for watching. Mm -hmm.